2009 because we saw a gap in the town for a group of professional artists to come together and create a cultural offering for the town. So what we do is we do these annual exhibitions and we do a series called Art and Words where we have artist talks or we have writers in to give readings and talk about their practice. I think it's been difficult in the sense that all of our teaching and in-person events like readings and things like that shut down so our income collapsed in a sense. Now some of it and a lot of it went online but then some of it can't go online. There is stuff that you literally can't do. For me I had planned to take last year off and not write a novel and I found myself with so much time what else was I going to do but write another novel? So that's what I did. Um, as a group, we, in a sense, prefer to meet in person. Um, so we had one Zoom meeting, and then as soon as we could meet in person again, that's what we did uh, safely, obviously. Uh, and we had already decided that we would make this exhibition unbound in response to our pandemic experiences. So each of us, so while the linking theme is the pandemic and how it affected us, um, we each came at it in very individualistic ways, I suppose. To myself, I lost my father who contracted COVID-19 during the pandemic in hospital, um, and three other members of the group lost their father, son, brother. Um, so we've had a lot of personal tragedy and we have woven that into the work in as best as we could dealing with grief when you can't see anybody is a different experience to dealing with it when you can be in company. So it's been a very strange time for a lot of us in the group. Um, but art is always made. Artists can't help themselves. We're compulsive. It's part of who we are. It's not just an add-on to our lives. It's who we are. And so we all continue to produce art during that time. We feel energised by this. I have to say, having company in the last few days while we've been setting up this exhibition, there's such a lovely collegiate atmosphere within our group. It's just been an absolute joy. One of the groups said the other night at the meeting, kind of gleefully, I love all this bonding, you know? And that's it, we bond together over our love of art and over our respect for art and over our, our mutual joy in each other's work. You know, I look at my colleagues in group eight at their work and I'm just so impressed and sort of buoyed up by the fact that there are fellow artists here in town and that we enjoy each other's work as much as each other's company. Mary in the Town Hall Theatre, all at the Town Hall Theatre for hosting us in this lovely space that we have kind of made over into our own but which was a lovely space to begin with. Um, the County Council for monetary sponsorship um, and everyone who comes to the exhibition because art and making art is one thing but the second part of that is an audience participation and enjoyment of it. We've been open here all day today and Loads of people came through to see the art who couldn't make tonight. And it was just so nice to see them and overhear the conversations between people about what they had enjoyed in the exhibition. So that's heartening for all.